Today we are going to design a Facebook profile cover photo in Canva. The Parisi Pack. All right, let me share my screen and let's dive right into this tutorial. Okay, so here we are at www.canva.com. And for the Facebook profile photo, the actual dimensions that we want to design something is actually just this presentation. Okay, so I am going to click on presentation where it says 16 by nine, and we're just gonna start with a clean blank slate. So here we have our blank 16 by nine presentation. Now, the first thing that I want you to do is you're going to click to add a second page. Page, and I'm going to show you why, but I want you to upload this. This is going to give you a basic template. You can grab this inside my free private Facebook group called Create Stories That Sell. When you click on it, this is in one of the guide sections, and this is a template that's going to show you how to map out your profile cover photo. It fits appropriately for both mobile and desktop viewing, okay, and where your profile is going to lay out. We have that here, and I'm going to show you how we can check our design with it, okay? Okay, so go to that group, grab that template. Okay, now let's design. Now, if you go here to the upper left-hand corner, you can click on design and you can click on templates here to kind of see some ideas of things if you want to work from something, okay? We are just gonna go to elements and I am going to type in color waves. Now we are going to search graphics, okay? We don't want a photo, we want graphics. And for this, you can see there's some different cool things that we can do with different colors. So let me find the one that I want. So say I wanted to use this one. You can see here, I can change the colors up here. I'm gonna show you guys how to do that here in a moment. Let me delete that. I'm gonna grab a different one. Okay, so here's the one I want and you can see it's different colors of purple. It's a gray and I am just going to increase the size of this. We'll move up here and we'll bring it down and we're just really increasing the size so we can get all the colors added, filling the whole space. All right, if I didn't like these colors, if I wanted to do something different than purple, I could of course come up here and change the colors, okay? So you could do a gradient of blue, green, whatever background color you want, but I like using something bold. Okay, now let's add in a title so people know exactly what you're about in your business, which is super important. Check out this video on your Facebook profile sales funnel so you can see why your cover photo is absolutely so important to getting you more sales. And then also I want you to check out this video on killer first impressions because that's really important as a business owner as well. All right, so here's the Bitmoji that I wanna use. I have a lot of different Bitmojis already uploaded, but if you just go to the Bitmoji app, you can add one if you want. You could also put a picture of yourself, okay, and remove the background. I'm gonna flip this so it's pointing in the direction that I want it to, and then I'm just gonna enlarge it, okay? So here it's pointing to the words that I wanna say. So keep in mind that your profile picture is on the left-hand side of your cover photo, and we don't want text or pictures behind it. We want people to be able to read your cover photo without this getting in the way, okay? So here we are. Now let's insert some text. So we're just gonna add a heading. So let's just move this to where we want because we know we're gonna want it at the top. And I am just going to type, let's control A this. We're gonna size down the line spacing, and then we'll make the letter spacing closer together as well. Okay, now let's change this we're gonna do we'll do poppins medium okay i'm gonna still continue to size this down and get this all in two lines and then let's do it just like this helping small business owners grow their influence and profits online that is what i do inside my pre c pack membership if you want to get a sneak peek of what the pack looks like check out this video okay so now we want to make our cover photo clickable and i'm going to show you exactly how to do this on facebook itself after we've designed the cover photo okay so stick until the end of this video to see that but now we want people to be clicking to get that info and how you can use a link for this so we're going to go back to elements and and let's get something fun and cool. So we're gonna put in click and then go to see all. Okay, and I'm just gonna scroll down to find the one I like and let's see. I like this, except I'm gonna change the color to be more my brand colors. Okay, and we'll size this down and then rotate it here to be right even. Okay, and then we'll move this little guy here because we want to show where we want people to click. And we're gonna write with some text. 
we'll just keep it simple and we're just going to write click for info. And again, let's change the font and I'm going to make this all caps because I made the other one all lowercase and then move this here. Okay, so it's right in line. I'm going to size this down again so it's a little bit smaller. Okay, so now we have our cover photo designed. Let's overlay the template so we make sure that we're not messing up the text with the profile picture. Okay, so we're going to go back to the uploads and we can just click here, okay, and put this on top. And I'll show you exactly how to remove it in a moment, okay? So we have it here, and then we're just going to make sure it's sized, and then we're just going to adjust the transparency, okay? So you can see here what's going to show up on desktop. So most of this gal is still going to be showing up from about her waist down on desktop, so that's great mobile, the whole thing will show and nothing is taking up the space of the profile picture. So that's great. So we're just going to delete that. So now we have our cover photo. Let's download it. And then let me show you how to make this clickable on Facebook itself. Okay. So here we are back on Facebook and we are going to go to our profile. Okay. So here's mine. And then I'm on a desktop right now. Okay. You can do the same thing on mobile as well. Okay. You can do the exact same step. So I'm going to click to edit my cover photo. And because I just created one, I'm going to click to upload a photo and then scroll down to the one I just downloaded and then click open. Okay. Now it's going to let you drag to reposition it. Okay. This is especially important for desktop, not so much mobile viewing, because as you could see from that template, the whole thing is going to show up on the iPhone. This is more just about on a desktop. Okay. So if this, if I'm happy with how this looks now, I'm going to click save changes. Okay. So now it's going to show in your newsfeed. Okay. So now let's make it clickable. This is the really cool hack. So you're going to scroll and you're going to find the picture, okay, that has been uploaded to your feed and you're going to click the three dots, okay, and you're going to click to edit the post, okay. So you aren't able to add in a description when you're actually uploading the cover photo itself, but you can add in a description and you can add in a link after you've uploaded it, okay, and published it as a post. Okay, so here I just say shortcut your learning curve and get results faster inside the pack marketing membership. And then I say all the details and then I put my link and then I'm just gonna click save. And then the really cool thing is, is you're gonna see this update right away. And so then people can click, which then is gonna take them to wherever you want them to do. And for me, I have my bio link added here. Not too shabby, huh? Go to stephaniepreci.com as you just saw to pop into create stories that sell and grab that free template that I showed you in this video so you can design your own really cool Facebook profile cover photo yourself in Canva. Before you pop off my channel, check out either of these two videos that are popping up on the screen. They're here to help you win in your business. And I'll be back next week with another new video.